Eilish, um, on behalf of Scottish Athletics, um, we would ask you to pay a tribute to, to Lindsay Sharp. If you could share a few words about Lindsay with us, please. Yeah, obviously I've known Lindsay a very long time. Um, I think the first time we ever actually came across each other was primary, Scottish primary school. Long time ago, yeah. Cross country. <laughs> and um, obviously the, the journalists or the media there at the time were really excited because um, it was two sort of former athletes like my mum and um, Carol and Cameron and then obviously their daughters. So it was myself and Lindsay and they took this picture and it's horrendous. <laughs> Lindsay has like the weird, this like tiny little like bob haircut and I just like petrified. And that was the first time I came across Lindsay and she just battered everybody in that race. Like I, I don't even know where I finished, but Lindsay was off. Like she won it by a long way. Um, I just remember thinking, wow, like, She's such an incredible athlete. And then obviously indoors, she set a lot of national records for her age group. She was just always someone that was always at the top of their game. And I suppose that was hugely inspiring, inspiring for me. Like I was never quite that level. Um, and then Lindsay was one of the first athletes who sort of broke into the GB team. And to be honest, I've never really thought about ever making like an Olympic games and stuff. I never quite thought I was ever that level of athlete or that good enough to make a, an Olympics. I thought if I could make a, a Scotland team, a Commonwealth or something, that would that would be a huge achievement in itself. But the Olympics and Europeans and stuff just felt way outside my, my capabilities. So when Lindsay broke into one of the first GB teams, I remember thinking, wow, like, I can't believe she's done that. Do you remember we were a similar age? Um, it just gave me, yeah, a lot of motivation to think, well, why not? Why can't I do that? And um, that's really what inspired me on to make London 2012. Perfect. And then... Um Unfortunately, we need to speak about the situation at Grangemouth Stadium just now. Um, those involved in Scottish athletics are putting for the Scottish Government and for Falkirk Council um, to get together and try and save Grangemouth Stadium. You'll have competed there, as will thousands of kids across Scotland over the years. What are your, your thoughts on, on what's happening with the, the facility just now and what you would like to see happen to make sure that Grangemouth Stadium stays alive? Yeah, I mean, it's a real shame to be losing athletics facilities. We don't have a huge amount of gym across Scotland, and this is where these young athletes will have the opportunity to, to take part in our sport that we love. Um, and Grangemouth in particular has been one that I've raced in so many times. I mean, it was such a fundamental place for us growing up, from Scottish Schools Championships on the track. We even had the Scottish um, Road like Championships around the outside in, in the in the park in the back. So yeah, I have really fond memories of that track. So it, it would be a real shame to see that go, um, especially for not just the local kids in the area, but as I said, kids from all across Scotland will go there to compete and race at the weekend. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what can be done. I don't know if it can be a multi-purpose. Um, it can be booked out for different things, different events, but I really think we should be trying to keep our athletic stadiums as, as much as we possibly can. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what the answer is, is how we do that financially, but there must be a way of, of stripping things down or, I don't know, there, there has to have, be another avenue of just completely scrapping them. How would that make you feel if Grangemouth Stadium was to be closed? Yeah, I mean, it's just sad knowing that it's a lost opportunity for youngsters within that area. And as I said, across the whole of Scotland to lose another facility, another track. Um, I mean, we, there was almost that going to happen in Meadowbank, but thankfully they've managed to revamp that and, and it's an amazing facility. Um, so it's really just, I know, securing it for the next generation of youngsters coming through. They have somewhere that they can feel safe to try athletics, to compete, to race. Um, it's all of those memories, those key memories that you have as a youngster are competing across stadiums across this country. Um, so yeah, I think for that local area, it's in a really important place to, to try and retain and, and retain as many of them as we as we possibly can. I mean we know the benefits of keeping fit and active. We know the benefits not only just for general fitness um, in later life but even mental health. We even know now the benefits of going out and getting fresh air, running outside, getting away from TV computer games, social media, and it's not even just kids as well, even adults might feel safer going to a location where they can go and run in the evenings um, instead of going up and down the streets and pavements and in the dark uh, dark alleyways. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a safe place for people to go and run and keep fit, keep active, um, clear their thoughts, clear their minds, do you know what I mean? that we know these benefits exist. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can try and do our best to 
to keep these stadiums as, as much as we can. Just finally for me, have you got a favourite memory from Grangemouth Stadium? Anything that oh. sticks out in your mind from, from racing there back in the day? I actually have, a, a, again, another funny picture, going back to the archives <laughs> and photos. You're going to have to send us this one as well, yeah. Um, there's one of me and Laura Muir, actually, yeah. competing at the, Dun, at the sorry the Scottish universities. I'm competing for Dundee Uni, so a little bit older. Um, but that, that's how important these stadiums are. Do you mean, from the age of probably about 13 years old, right the way through to, through to even university championships, we were competing there. Um, but yeah, I have a very funny picture. Laura looks very different to what she does now. <laughs> I probably don't look that different. I think I'm still very tall and stand out. Big blonde hair on me. Um, bleach blonde hair back then. I'd say white, bordering <laughs> on white hair. Um, but yeah, it's just, that's quite funny to look back on. I mean, at the time, we had no idea who each other were. Um, Laura was certainly not the athlete she is today, and I was definitely not the athlete I am today either. So it's fun to look back at that and go, wow, I mean, I competed against Laura Muir over uh, 3,000 metres, maybe. Um, so that's, yeah, there's memories at that you look back and think, that's just crazy. Like, what, op what opportunity that was back in the day. And even the other athletes in that race, I'm sure they even look at that picture and go, wow, I raced Laura Muir, I raced Dale's Hogan back in the day. Um, so, yeah, that's a, a pretty fun memory.